So in today's technical corner, I'm with Lee Scott from Starag. We're going to be talking once again about the compact range. We've covered a lot in the last year, Lee. It's been a popular seller for you. Tell us about it for those that don't know and haven't seen our uh, previous productions. Well, it's a new range of machines, compact because it's a very compact size. Uh, a horizontal four axis gives you the H. Uh, with, with a trunnion table, fifth axis gives us the X range. Um, we can also put a high speed table on for turning, which gives us the T range. Okay, now in its basic guise here, it's a twin pallet machine, a horizontal machine in center, as you said. Of course, with these machines, you have a bed and you have a column. So let's, let's touch on those areas. How are these made? Well, the, we'll go through the construction in a minute, but they're a, they're a very solid compact machining center, monoblock based. So we use a mineral cast material, which is very uh, vibration absorbent as well as being very stiff as the base and it's a very hollow design it's like a big bathtub so all the chips just fall straight out of the uh, out of the work area take the heat with them the column then sits on the base um, linear rails direct measuring systems across the whole of the machine and the spindle group as you can see is horizontal sits inside the column various different designs on spindlers we'll touch on in a minute. And what about the pallets? Well, the pallets, as you can see here, it's a twin pallet machine. The pallets, we grind the surfaces of pallets. We talk about accuracy. We grind the surfaces so the interfaces are perfect then on the fixed ring. But it's a twin pallet machine, whether it be on a trunnion or just the standard B-axis. And uh, outside of the machining area, we have the setup station. So the first pallet is working inside the machining area. The second pallet's either being loaded by a robot, an FMS, or a, or a person. To, to keep the machine and that means fed. you can keep the spindle going which is another key important part isn't it the cutting face tell us about these well if, if the spindle's not cutting the machine's not making you money so whether it's 30,000 revs for aluminium whether it's very high torque geared spindles for titanium whether it's a quill spindle whether it's a dbf with a a, a, a traversing spindle there's a spindle for every different application and the tool magazines you've got to feed the spindle and the tool magazines start with a single magazine as you can see on the on the on the the, the screen here or we can run a parallel system so up to a total of about 450 tools on this range and when you're cutting the chips you've got to get rid of them massively important we can produce volumes of aluminium swarf like eight ten liters believe. has to go through the machine and out the back and into a, some kind of swarf system whether it's a swarf bin or or, or a central system it and the whole matter. thing has to be controlled all of these models by a control system and HMI people want operator friendly ease of use don't they all applies well operators love this it's Fanacore Siemens it's touch screen it's multi screens it's it, it, it's just the perfect solution for these young engineers that really want to get data from and, the machines and so really we looked at the twin pallet we touched on a couple of ways of automating machines uh, on previous videos and on this but automation is key you you can add that to these machines I'm sure well just in the UK alone We've got customers with standalone machines, we've got customers feeding these machines with robots, mill turning machines, and we've got customers with, with big automation systems, with multi-pallet systems. So it really is an affordable range, very, very high performing range, but very adaptable to anybody's different applications. And the reason you've, you've got these machines or launched them is because there is a market for Starag here, which uh, you are looking at, which really can be small to medium sized companies, not just your big OEMs, businesses that are looking at competitively priced machines, but long run times, reducing uh, or increasing productivity and reducing downtime. That really is what these machines are, are geared for. Yeah, any, anybody that's looking for a horizontal machine ought to be looking at this, uh, this product. Brilliant, thank you very much, Lee. This is the compact range from Hecate and the Starag Group. Contact the guys at the Starag Group to find out more about any of the horizontal machining centers within this range. Thanks, Lee. Thank you.